You know, if you're new to the real estate sales industry, it can be easy to feel a little bit lost. Don't worry, let's help you get started. Today on 5-Minute Sales Training, I'm gonna be sharing some tips for new real estate salespeople. Well, welcome back everyone, once again to the 5-Minute Sales Training, where today we'll look at tips for new real estate sales professionals. Before we begin, remember to hit the like button, please, if you're enjoying these videos. If you haven't subscribed, could you do that as well? Hey, if you're new to the real estate industry, welcome and congratulations. I am so thrilled for you. Tell me in the comments below how long you've been in the business. It's been over 30 years since I sold my first home. Uh, in fact, hold on. Here you go. <laughs> there it is. There it is. The first home that I ever sold back in the day. I have to tell you, I love this industry. I love it deeply. It's been very good to me and I trust it will be good to you as well. If you've not yet sold your first home, you're in for quite a treat. And in fact, I recently drove through the first new home community that I ever sold in the San Francisco Bay Area. <laughs> It was meaningful to think behind every door is a story, a thousand stories actually, and this is what we do. We make dreams come true. So what is your role in that dream building process? And how can you maximize the opportunities for the people that you will serve? So let me offer you three tips that will last you the rest of your career if you take them seriously. All right, tip number one, bottle up the contagious enthusiasm. I'm so excited. Now listen, early on in the process, you're gonna be full of energy and enthusiasm and that's awesome. The trick is, how do you sustain it? You know, oftentimes industry veterans forget what it was like in those early days. I don't want to say that they get jaded. It's just that it's hard to sustain that level of enthusiasm for a long period of time. Oh, God. Oh, Fredo sauce. I'm getting a stitch. Oh, but look, if you can make a conscious effort today to build a habit of positive energy and to maintain that energy and share that with everyone who walks through your door, I'm gonna tell you, do that and you will have a decided advantage on the competition around you. Just think about what gives you positive energy. Think about what brings you joy to the job. Write that down, journal it. See, you want to remember that. It's as if you're putting it into a, a magic bottle and every time you feel a little bit down or off your game, you can open up the bottle and take a big swig of positive energy. I cannot speak highly enough about the importance of contagious enthusiasm. You've got it, now keep it. Tip number two, be a from, not a to. Let me tell you what I mean by that. Most salespeople, not just in real estate, but in all industries, are so consumed with what the customer is moving to that they fail to fully understand what the customer is coming from. This is a difference maker for you. You can decide right now what you will be more interested in. Salespeople who are interested in what a customer is moving to are all about bedroom count, square footage, one or two stories, price point, time frame. I'm here to tell you, if you understand what they're coming from, if you understand your mission, if you understand their current dissatisfaction, the problem that needs to be solved, all of those other details, they're gonna fall into place. You can work on 20 different what questions, or for far less effort, you can work on one good why question. Get your motivation question down solid. You can mark your career by how effectively and quickly you get to know the customer's mission. Finally, number three, do something that challenges you every day. You're gonna find that early on in your career, the learning curve will be very steep and then it will plateau. This is normal, happens all the time, but you don't wanna let that happen. The problem is that the human brain is designed to desire comfort. So once we get to a level where we have the job figured out, at least on a minimum, our tendency is to then sort of coast and rely on what we already know. 
That is a recipe for stagnation. You see, of all the species, yours cannot abide stagnation. I want to challenge you to do something every day by way of your own development that makes you at least a little bit uncomfortable. Get used to role playing. Get used to practicing out loud. Get used to videotaping small segments of your presentation and playing it again and again and looking for areas of improvement. I'm going to tell you right now that most salespeople will not do this. And if they do, they'll only do it for a short time early in their career. This gives you a decided advantage in the long run. Look, I wish for you the very best in what this phenomenal industry has to offer. All of us at Shore Consulting will be right here rooting for you and ready to help in any way we can. Hey, thanks for watching today's 5-Minute Sales Training. If you liked what you saw here, we've got a whole lot more over on Sales 365. It's our social network for salespeople. There's more content from me, special workshops with industry leaders, and thousands of sales professionals sharing their experiences and celebrating their victories. Head over to sales365.io to get started or download the app today from your app store. And until next time, learn more to earn more.